Hello, everybody. Happy June 1st. I hope all of you are having a good one. Um, right off the bat, I want to say uh, this is the beginning of the end of spring. We're going into summer, and I'm really looking forward to it uh, and all that. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about something that I did um, the 30th, I believe it is. Uh, I went ahead and I went to another comic book shop called Pops Comics. It's located on Preston Highway. I took a bus. It was very easy to just hop on the bus. And it drops you off, like, literally right in front of the shop, which is a lot better than walking all the way down in this boiling hot weather and all that stuff. So I went over there, and uh, I took a lift back because I just didn't want to wait for the bus, but I took the bus to Pops Comics. And Pops Comics is a very small shop. It's not a super big one, though I will say that the customer service there is a lot better than over at Comic Book World. Um, and I kind of walked in and I asked them a question. As a, cons as a consumer, I said, is Comic Book World going out of business? And they were like, well, we don't know if they're going out of business, asked why, and I told them about the issue I was having last month on May 1st when I went in with up to $400 on my card, and they did not have the comic books that were supposed to come out that day. And this is why I didn't go to free comic book day, also because I had to work that day. But, um, so, um, I told them that, and I told them, but just how severely disappointed I was and this is why I'm coming here because I know that there's a good chance that you guys will have the comics that I want. Um, and I, I got them and they will be in the next video. So I mainly bought Marvel because um, that is, you know, what I wanted to get. Um, I did not buy them on Kindle. Uh, because I had, I had plans to go to the comic book shop, so what is the point of buying them on Kindle? Uh, because I can just go and buy them on Kindle if I'm not able to get the one I want. Um, I also asked them about what did, what did they think about the Blood Hunt event, and uh, they were kind of like, well, you know, it did, it, you know, we, we've been getting some pretty good comics, you know, from the event and all that. But I looked through. And I got all my comic books, and I spent about $250 uh, <clears throat> on that. Um, <coughs> so, um, but that was after I gave my brother, um, you know, his money and stuff. Um, I actually, what I did was I actually, uh, the 16th, I gave him 200 And then um, the 30th, I gave him another um, 200 uh, so that way I wouldn't, that way I wouldn't be partying with my money, so much of my money. So, that's what I did. And what that also meant was that I was not able to get my electric bicycle. Um, I will try, I will try again next month to be able to get it. Um, I just have to, I just have to kind of like, you know. Um, but, um, uh, anyways, um, so I, um... So I went and I, I got my comics and I actually told him that I no longer had the app and um, I told him I says I'm just not worrying about it. Um, I'll just you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add another app to my phone and <clears throat> and everything. Um, but uh, you know they were fine with that. They were fine with that. I'm pretty sure they were kind of like, oh why didn't you, why don't you want like 15 percent off your your uh, <clears throat> your order and stuff like that. I was like I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, I'm not that cost conscious, um, especially if um, I look at Marvel and look at DC and what's coming out and be like, yeah, I don't really want these comics and all that. But um, that is, um, I think that's the sorry state of it when other comic book shops don't know until like the last moment that a shop is going out of business. And, uh, you know, I told him, you know, I said that, you know, <clears throat> I would go... And I would pull out a comic, especially if I hadn't been buying comics for quite a long time. And they were kind of like, 
oh yeah, it's, it's that from that event. I'm like, wow, you're just excited about what I pulled out. Interesting. I tell them that, and they're like, well, if you haven't been collecting comics for a while, I would definitely be bent over backwards to show some excitement. That yes, you're willing to spend $11 on a, on a bag and board comic. I would show a little bit more excitement. Um, but, uh, yeah, they were, they were like, if you're, if you're dumping that much money into buying comics, you got to show a little bit more pesto, you know? So, yeah, they, they're right about that. If you're, if you're going to be dumping that much money, if you're, if you're going to be spending that much money in someone's business, show some excitement, like, oh, wow, <clears throat> hey, yeah, this is what this issue and all that stuff, but, this just solidifies my, this just solidifies my uh, belief that I did the right thing with digital comics, because if I'm going to get, if I'm going to get like that nonsense, not talking about Pops Comics, but the other one, uh, <clears throat> that is just something that I like to avoid. But anyways, um, so the next video that I will be doing, I will be showing you guys the comics that I got at Pops Comics, and um, I will see you guys around.